Hi, I'm Watt Bradshaw, and I'm a third generation farm manager here at the Susie Q Farm. We live on Smith Creek in the middle of the Shenandoah Valley in Western Virginia. One of the long-term goals for this project for me and others is the reestablishment of the native brook trout fishery in this stream. Historically, native trout were the dominant species in the stream, but over the past recent history, the water quality has dropped, the temperature has risen, and now the stream does not support an active breeding population of brook trout except in a couple locations. The long-term goal for this project is to restore and reestablish the entire main stem of Smith Creek as a breeding brook trout fishery. The real heart of our farm is Smith Creek, which runs 1.2 miles right through the middle of this farm. And we've been working on it for over 15 years to try to uh, rehabilitate and enhance the stream habitat. What we're looking at is a picture from 15 years ago before we did some of the major stream shaping work. And these are 8 to 10 foot cut vertical banks of, uh, of exposed dirt, which would wash away, you know, three feet every time a flood came, removing tons and tons of soil uh, downstream. Um, and we'll see now an aftershock after that stabilization has occurred where the stream has been shaped and restabilized so that when the floodwaters come up they just wash around and do not remove so much sediment. Where I'm standing right here is one of the three locations where we're going to try to re-establish uh, vegetation on the bank. We're going to do some stabilization and rehabilitation work here. You can see we have a cut vertical bank of raw dirt which erodes heavily whenever the water gets up. And so what we're going to accomplish here, we're going to roll the bank back a little bit to a more stable slope, re-establish vegetation and plant more trees and shrubs right at the bank's edge. And you'll see like in the other photo that um, what that allows is when the water gets up, it can flow around this turn without removing and eroding so much of the bank. It goes all the way around the bend, right down to there. This is a, uh, another second location for where we're going to try to reestablish a stable bank slope. You can see this cut vertical bank of raw dirt and what we're going to be doing here is laying the bank back at a more stable angled slope, um, armoring the toe a little bit, and then re-establishing vegetation on this bank so when the water gets up, it doesn't cut away at this bank and wash the silt into the stream. And this is approaching the, this is the location for the third of these stabilization projects. And you can see the exposed cut vertical bank on the far side of the stream. This is where the stream comes right up against the hill and is cutting away pretty bad here. And what we're going to try to do is reestablish the native vegetation of trees and shrubs, which is really the best and permanent solution to the stream stabilization. It's the, is the reestablishment of the native vegetation that would grow there. And we can do that by planting and stabilizing the bank slope and then using artificial means to help hold the bank together while this native vegetation establishes itself. The final and permanent solution is the re-establishment of a native forested edge right up to the water. And that's what will work the best. Smith Creek is a very special stream because it's spring fed. There's springs all along the stream which are taking water from the Massanutten Mountain and keeping this a cold water clear spring year round that can support a trout fishery. Um, right now, we have stocked the stream with uh, rainbow and brown trout and have one of the best fisheries in Western Virginia on this stream. Um, our long-term goal 
is to reestablish the native brook trout fishery on this stream, which we'll be able to do once we can drop the temperature of the stream a little bit.